Hey gang. You know, I really want to do this week's video from somewhere here in town, but uh, you know, again, it's been a super busy weekend. Trying to get a lot of stuff done. It's gonna be a super busy week because next week the yard sale is gonna start, hopefully. If there's no weather problems, if there's nothing getting in the way for it to happen, it's it's definitely gonna be on for next week. But I, I gotta say, uh, <laughs> okay, this is not exactly, let me turn it, there we go, I think it's a little bit better. <laughs> I know this is not exactly a cat. In fact, I'm not sure what it is. I guess it's supposed to be a fox or something like that. I don't know. But in all honesty, this to me represents the Boonville Bearcats high school football fans because what happened this past Friday was just pure hilarious. Around last year, Harding Academy took out the Boonville Bearcats in the semifinals of the big playoff game to where Boonville could not go to state championship. And there were people who were on social media and everything like that just complaining and griping and moaning and, you know, putting their egos out there saying, well, let's get Harding Academy here and it'll be a completely different ball game. I guess somebody at Harding Academy saw those comments and just said, hey, you know what? That wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, we'll, we'll go there this year and we'll see what happens. Well, it wasn't any different. Harding Academy still beat Boonville three years in a row, although the score this time around was not as bad as it was the past two years. But I, but I, I will say this much. When... When Boonville finally scored their first touchdown at almost 20 minutes till 8 in the second quarter, that right there pretty much just said, yeah, it, it's not looking good. And I wasn't even sure what the score was at the time. I got up there at almost halftime. There was less than four minutes left in the game. Harding Academy was leading 21-7. to By the time halftime hit, Harding Academy was leading 24-7. to and it was a packed house on both sides. You know, the Harding Academy side was pretty packed. Boonville side was pretty packed. And, well, before the game was all over with, the Boonville side was not all that packed. There were people leaving out. I, th I think there were people leaving out by the fourth quarter. Because the third quarter, they weren't doing that well either. Um, I think they scored again. But, yeah, Harding Academy just dominated that game. And uh, and there's this one kid on their team, uh, number two. I don't know his I don't know his name, but I'll tell you. Seeing that kid getting that final touchdown for Harding Academy, just sprint down that down that field, and just just like he couldn't be touched. I mean, he was gone, and I I applauded him. Of course, I was on the Harding Academy side, though. You know the whole time and I'll tell you those those fans were crazy man I'm, there were times the Boonville band would play certain songs and they would just sing along to them it was like the Boonville side was just completely quiet at one point the Boonville band played YMCA and some of the fans on the Harding Academy side sang YMCA and then when they played that song that kind of goes, goes you know, like dun 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 the Harding Academy fans yelled out, Go Cats Go! It's not because of the Bearcats, because their team names the Wildcats. So, yeah. At one point, this this was also something I found really, really funny, and I imagine you know, any Boonville Bearcats fans who see this, if they want to, if they do, they might find this kind of insulting. Uh, while the Boonville Bearcats band was playing some song, there was some kid on the Harding Academy side down by where all the football players stand at, he was break dancing. I wish I could have recorded that. that. That was something to see. And at one point, I, I think it was during the uh, last few minutes of the fourth quarter, uh, this one kid from Harding Academy, he did a baseball slide <laughs> on his side of the field, uh, you know, where all, where, all the, uh, where all the Harding Academy players were at. I thought that was kind of cool. That was kind of funny. So if, if you want to kind of get Reno's side of things, I would just say go check out his channel. But i got to warn you guys, the last minute or so of, his, of the video, 
the sound goes out. So we may have to start doing his videos on one of my phones because the phone he's got is a piece of crap. And he's supposed to be getting a new one before too long. So, you know, hopefully that one will work out, will work out a whole lot better. But yeah, so the final score, Harding Academy 44, Boonville Bearcats 14. All I can say about it is, how's your ego, Bearcat fans? Are you guys gonna, you guys gonna keep quiet next time around? You guys gonna just keep it quiet and not say a word about, you know, Harding Academy should come here? I think Harding Academy's done with you guys. I mean, for crying out loud, they're, they're ranked number 10 in the state. The number one in their division. Where's Boonville rank at in the state? Number 23. But who knows? They might be ranked up a little bit. I don't know which direction it goes on, all honesty. I'm, but yeah, anyway, Boonville's got a game against Hackett this Friday. Uh, definitely going to have to go with Boonville on that one. Just because Hackett has home field advantage doesn't always mean anything. And I, you know, I, I try and tell people that, you know, because everybody thought, you know, Boonville's going to have home field advantage. And I told him, I said, that doesn't matter because Boonville's lost at home many times before. So, yeah. Uh, I won't, but, so, yeah, there won't be a Boonville versus Hackett re video report. Maybe it will be on Reno's channel uh, this weekend. But I will try to be at the next home game. But I, I had to be there for, that, for this one. It was a beautiful disaster. What can I say? So maybe next time you Boonville Bearcats fans will be careful what you wish for and keep quiet and stop trying to say things that, uh, you know, you uh, just got to start being more careful about what you say because if uh, if you want a good team to come play you guys, you know, you're not playing against some team you guys can run over easily. You guys, you guys had a team beat you guys twice, humiliated you both times at their home, and they humiliated you here. So there you go. So I'm going to get on out of here, gang. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. Hope you're having an awesome day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. And uh, again, if you want to, go check out Reno Vega, Reno Wheat, Grease Monkey 1215, uh, Hot and Fresh. I don't know, I'll try and put as many channels as I can, some, of some local people around here, helping help them get their channels growing. Let's stop trying to destroy the world, let's help others who really, really need it right now. Let's keep praying all this virus and disease scare nonsense is going to stop very, very soon. Whether or not you believe in God, He believes in you. If you would, have a fellow YouTuber reach your 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 or 100,000 subscribers. Any goals you want to try to achieve in life, I hope you get there and you get there real, real soon. As long as it's legal, nobody gets hurt, especially yourself. And always remember, you're here for a reason, but if you weren't here, you would be missed. And always stay true to yourself. Take care of yourself. Try to be good. Try to be good yourself. Try to be good to others. Till we do this again, as always, stay strong and rock on.